Hey everyone, I'm Raji from DevCode and in this video, I will tell you all about what is the flat and flat map method in JavaScript. So, the flat method returns a new array with all subarray elements concatenated into it recursively up to the specified depth. So, this statement means that flat method takes an array containing nested subarrays and returns a new array that contains all the elements of the original array flattened into a single array. The method works recursively up to a specified depth meaning it will also flatten any nested subarrays within the original subarrays. The resulting flattened array will not modify the original array. Let me just show you a few examples. Now, as you can see here, in the first array, I have nested an array inside an array. And when I console.log array1.flat, I get a new array containing the subarray elements concatenated into the parent array. Now, in the second example, you can see that I have put the number 678 inside an array that has a depth of 3 which is obviously relative to the parent array we already have. Well, you can see I get a new array which contains all the elements from the original array. Now let's see what is the flat map method. Well, from the name of the flat map method, you might be able to guess that it will have a mixture of the applications of flat and a map method. Well, you are correct. The flat map method returns a new array formed by applying a given callback function to each element of the array and then flattening the result by one level. It is identical to a map method followed by a flat method of a depth one, but slightly more efficient than calling those two methods separately. Let me explain with an example. Consider an array that contains arrays within it, but only to a depth of one, because the flat map method works only for depths which is equal to one. Now in the console, you can see that in both the ways, we are getting arrays, which are obviously arrays of string, cause that is what I wanted the method to return. Here you can see that even the subarray is also con considered as an idle element and the subarrays as a whole element is converted to a string. See, well, this is it for this video. Bye.